Hi Tribe, I'm Evelyn and this is Demon Dialogue, the place on Objectively Type where we talk about everybody's favorite topic, our demons. So you're into the self-growth space, you've been in it for a while, you're starting to find those areas that are like hard for you, the areas where you struggle, regardless of what other people have, regardless of how other people act, you struggle in these areas. So what do you do? How do you work on these things? Uh, it doesn't matter if you're into typology, if you know your type, you have your best fit type, you disagree with your type, it doesn't really matter. There's going to be some area in your life that is going to be hard for you. It's going to be an area where you're kind of stuck, right? I like to call those, that area our demons because that's what Dave and Shannon call it. It's a nice little shorthand for areas in which I am stuck in my life or whatever you want to say. Areas of where I want to focus my self-growth efforts. Um, those are just, that's just long. It's a lot, that's a lot of words. That's a lot of sensory for me to say every time. So demons, let's just clump that sensory, you know, of course. So what do you do, right? So there's this common conception on the internet or con concept, I should say, on the internet that it takes 21 or 30 days to break a habit or establish a new behavior. You know, you see all these things like, and then, and then there's all these like challenges that have built up around it. Like, uh, the, um, well, I like the whole 30, but you know, the whole 30, you know, go full paleo for 30 days. Um, you know, blog a day for 21 days, whatever, right? People get into that. I mean, I think a month is a nice range anyway, because, uh, because it, it's just a nice calendar time to focus on a thing. However, science has actually shown us that it takes about 66 days. So they've done studies and they've really, you know, tracked how long it takes for lasting behavior change. And what they're finding is that 30 day model or 21, you know, one month ish model, that's not enough time to really have lasting automatic behavior change. It's really more like two months. It's really more like 66 days. I will put a link in the description um, to an article on this topic. So, so what do I do? Okay. I'm, I'm going to talk about, that's always kind of like my approach to self growth topics, to sharing with other people is I'm not going to say like, this is what works and you have to do this. I'm going to tell you what I've done and what has worked for me and what I've seen results that I've seen in my life when things have worked and have not worked, how that's gone down for me. Now you guys know my type. If you don't remember it, which way do we want to go? <laughs> that way. That's my type. Um, if, so I'm an EP. So there's going to be some kind of like EP isms, right? But anyway, so what has worked for me is to simplify. My natural tendency is to want to capture all the things. I want to do all my habits, right? I want to lose weight, exercise, wake up early, um, eat healthy, um, you know, call my family, like you name it, you know, um, whatever, stop biting my nails, whatever, right? Like I will, my natural tendency is to just like, get a whole bunch of things and try to do a whole bunch of things. And what I have found is that fails. That is, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. The better method is to focus on, I would say maximum three, but let's just like three to five, but, but really let's keep it to three. I would say one to three. Let's say that. I have noticed that I have like, yeah, when I think about like the times when I've had like the best success, it is when I am singularly focused on one to three things. So I used to listen to this and, and I still do on occasion, this podcast called Cortex uh, with CGP Gray. He also has a hello internet and Gray had his four light bulbs. He had, um, it was, it was like family, social work and health or something. Right. And what he would do is he would essentially say like, I, I can't do all of these things at level 10. I can modulate them and tr kind of trade uh, the power that gets put. So like one light bulb is going to be turned up. Another light bulb is going to be turned down. And I have found that that same type of model works really well for me. So I will pick a, an area, let's say health, and I will singularly focus on that area, have some goals built around that area. Like, let's say you want to build an exercise routine, right? So Bill, say I'm going to exercise every day at this time. Uh, that is my goal for the next two months. And that's what you got to do. And then you got to track it. You got to track it. People who want to get into a habit, they want to get into eating healthy or whatever, and they don't track it. They don't have success. You've got to track it. As you track it, you can see your results in reality. And another thing they found in these studies is like, you may have a day where you miss or not, and that's okay as long as you're keeping that consistency over time. It's the over time that really builds the pathways in your brain that really establishes the new behavior. So 
What am I working on right now? Okay, you know my type. Right now, frankly, I got two things. I have a habit tracker that I use. Uh, it's actually uh, an app. It's a whole like social media thing called Habitica. But I, so it's, it's like, it's like a little art gamified habit app. I have two things in there. Um, focus on gathering the sensory. So it says like, I'm responsible for gathering the sensory and um, I don't need validation cookies. Those are the two things that I'm really working on. And that's it. And I have a track and I'm, I'm tracking it for the next 60 days. And every single, so what I do is every single day I knock off like, okay, I'm working on that today. And then as the day goes on, I really focus on that. And so I'm keeping track. Um, you know, I don't have it up in front of me right now. I think I'm on like day 13 or 14 right now as of this recording. So it's still relatively new, but that's the thing is like, if I want lasting behavior change, if I want to see results in reality, I have to track it and I have to maintain it over time. So anyway, comment below. Let me know what you've worked on. What are you working on currently? Um, I'm going to keep bringing up this topic periodically because this is what we're here for. This is what it's all about. So love to hear from you. Bye.